Welcome race fans to another digital relay video. This is another race from the Lazy Boy Racing League and uh, this is race number five at Kyoto in the Suzuki Swift. Uh, this is a really good race, a lot of fun. Uh, basically a spec race. I qualified P2, Agent Orange, you can see P1 and uh, away we go. A very close start. I stick with him, take an inside line. Very close to getting ahead, and there it is. I get in front of him, but it is short lived. I knew I did not have uh, inside position coming up, which he gave me some room there, but he goes way inside, and I back out of it. I'm not going to go uh, ruin a race on turn two. <laughs> in a 12 lap race and a little bump from behind it happens no real harm on that one though so settle back in gonna try to chase down agent orange he's got a reputation as being a very good driver with this group uh, i'm pretty new to lazy boy racing um it's a an older league it was around a, about a decade ago and Scuds has brought it back, and um, it's been super fun for me. Really good group of guys, and um, well organized, and not a huge time commitment, which works for me. Um, and it's it's to me, it's a lot more fun being in a league than just doing daily races. Uh, so here I am, chasing, chasing Agent down, getting a little bit closer here. actually falling back now and you can see on the map that we have pulled away from that group behind so it really is uh, between the two of us um, what I thought was interesting in the race I've gone a little bit wide here but my preferred line through there is really to ride that curb on the inside all the way through and agent was going pretty wide there We're both able to stay clean through there. A few people had gone off in this race. I never really could find a ideal line through this section. Definitely cutting the grass there, getting on the curb there, riding that curb. I get a decent exit. Looks like I'm starting to close the gap there a little. Not a whole lot of slipstream effect in this one, but I've got a fast lap so far, but um, the rest of this race looks a lot like that, so let's um, let's skip ahead a bit. Here we are, last lap. Agent pulled away from me. There wasn't a whole lot to see for uh, the rest of that race. Just a lot of me doing this. Trailing him, trying to stay on his bumper, and um, not really able to stick with him. You can see he ended up getting a fast lap in the 49s. I was able to get in the 49s during practice a couple of times, uh, but not consistently. I didn't spend a ton of time practicing this particular race. I spent a little more time on uh, race number six, which is coming up next. But um, it was fun to be uh, toward the top here again. I've been fortunate having a good season here so far. Uh, you can see Caveman <laughs> uh, unfortunately getting lapped, but uh, it was funny because in the lobby he claimed to take second place there behind Agent, but all good. Uh, good race. Let's move on to the next one. We're in group four cars at Brands Hatch for this one. I uh, have pole position in this one, and uh, Rain gets a wicked start off the line there and uh, pulls in front of me uh, I felt really good in this car and was uh, turning in some very good times in practice some lap times in practice uh, so I had a um, some confidence especially going in qualifying p1 um, not really knowing how far ahead I guess I didn't really pay attention to how far ahead I was whether that was you know tenth of a second or three seconds um, but it doesn't really matter. So we're in this one. I felt pretty good here that I had done so well with this car 
and rain had just got a tremendous start, but I was feeling good that I'm going to be able to pull him in here and be able to get by him. So it's just a matter of putting in some clean turns and waiting for an opportunity. Um, and then you're going to see Agent Orange in fifth there. He actually started 10th, and we're going to be switching back and forth with his cam because uh, it, it turned out to be a, a very competitive race with Agent again. I'm cutting that curb, trying to just find a good spot to attack Rain, who's another very good driver in this group. Looking at that leaderboard, I see Agent still in fifth. During the race live, I wasn't paying attention to it really at all. I was looking to see uh, once I... Um, once we're breaking away from this group and you can see there's a gap there uh, uh, that's really what I was looking at but I get a good exit through here and saw rain go a little bit wide so I'm committed I'm going inside break late pin it on the apex or pretty darn close and now I'm off and running um, felt good here did not feel like I was under attack um rain does make uh, he sticks with me here for a little bit and especially in this turn i remember looking in my rear view mirror and seeing him getting very close but then i get a good exit out of here and take off you can see agents moved up to four let's take a look at his camera he is hot on the trail here right on mcqueen in that viper and doing a very good job of sticking close here to the next driver without without running into him. Um, I've seen that a bit. Very clean driving, uh, smart driving. He gets by McQueen here, so he's now up into into third. I don't know it during the race, so all I've really seen so far is you know I had a little bit of a battle with Rain. I get by Rain, and then I can see. Uh, around this point of the race, my lead is increasing. Um, can't remember exactly what it was here, but I'm not even aware that that agent is uh, in P3 and moving up. I'm just trying to race my lines and increase that lead that I had. We're going to stick with agent's camera here for a little bit. Rain goes a little bit squirrely there. It's hard to tell if that's just controller uh, movements or lag or what, but Agent is uh, right on his bumper here. Rain goes a little wide. Agent being very patient here which is probably tough too when you know you've got the pace there and you feel like that next car is holding you up. But Rain gets by, or excuse me, Agent gets by Rain who went a little wide there. Agent goes a little wide there, maybe just uh, had the momentum from getting by Rain. Um, and it's around now that I start to realize Agent has moved from, I know, way down the field up into second. And we are in the coming to the end of lap three. So we've got four more laps as I, you can see me up ahead, cross the start-finish line. So I'm now on lap four. I'm now aware that Agent's moved up to second. And the gap that I had that went up to, I think around three seconds at one point, I'm starting to see dwindle. And I'm also seeing that uh, that fast lap that Agent now has, and he's in uh, well into the 133s. I know in practice for this one, I was able to turn a bunch of 132s a best of a 132.4 uh, but on race night I was I was struggling a little bit and um, I also I probably was a little overconfident because once I got by rain and I kept increasing that increasing my lead 
I was consciously thinking, I do not need to drive at 100% effort. I got to back it down and play it a little bit more conservative so that I don't make a mistake and slide off the track. Uh, now that we're halfway through the race and I see agents behind and he is um, slowly chipping away at that lead, I had to focus a little bit more and push a little bit harder, um, but still not push too hard and make a big, big mistake. So end of lap four here. So I get a fast lap there, but Agent is right behind me with into the 132s now. And I remember seeing that live, that I had a fast lap. I felt good about that lap, um, but then realized, you know, two seconds later, it was, uh, it was already gone. Um, and you can see here, especially as, you, as we slow down going through some of these turns, that you can plainly see me now, and I am very aware of where he is. And trying to do the math in my head, how much is he gaining per lap, and how many laps do I have left? Because um, I knew he was running faster, so this was more a, a strategy of trying to stay clean, trying to get into the low 133s, even dip into the 132s if I could. Um, but really, it was about um, staying on the track, too, not pushing too hard. Does a good job of riding over that curb. Slightly getting over that curb. Going inside here. Looks like a good line. As he continues to gain. And I continue to watch. Watch my lead shrink. And watch the front of his car get slightly bigger as time goes on here. He's now into a 132.7. I'm not sure what my lap time was there, but uh, it wasn't, wasn't in the 132s, I don't believe. I go a little wide there. Get a pretty good exit through there. And through this next sector, I was feeling pretty confident and I did stretch, stretch it out a little bit more. Agent goes a little bit wide there, but he's still gaining overall. Looks like I pull away just a little bit in this sector. I get a good run through that turn. And looks like I get a pretty good run through there as well. He goes slightly wide, but still closing that gap overall. So as we're coming to the end of this lap, and I'm still pushing here, but now I see he is, he's right on me. I think it, I think he's at under half a second now. And uh, so I've got to switch my strategy here a little bit and be ready to defend. I know he's not close enough quite to throw it up the inside, so I feel pretty confident here. I'm sticking with the regular driving line. He gets squirrely there. I still think I've got enough of a lead. I don't need to worry about being attacked here. Just trying to stay clean. Continue to hit my braking points, my turning points. He gets closer, looks to go up the inside, but not enough there. Very, very clean driving and patient. And sometimes it's hard to be patient when you've fought your way from 10th up to second and you know you're faster than the guy you're chasing down. Looks like he's very comfortably following me and waiting for an opportunity that I don't plan to give him. So I go through here with a normal driving line, but I know we're at the end here and now he's literally on my bumper. 
So I kind of stay to the inside. I go way slower than I probably normally would have to, and he respects it and does not run into me, which is great. And I decide there I'm fully committed to staying on a defensive line and taking that inside and forcing him to the outside, knowing that physics is not working in his favor to go the long way around and bring it home. But man, that was a good race, and I could feel that pressure uh, really from about lap three all the way through to the end, knowing he was honing in on me and there wasn't a whole lot I could do. So a super good race, a lot of fun. Um, we'll see you on the next one. If you're enjoying this content, please hit that like button. It helps grow the channel and uh, consider subscribing. And if you've got any uh, comments, please drop them in below. Anything that's uh, you know constructive criticism, some stuff you like, stuff you'd like to see more of, stuff that's not working for you. Um, that input kind of helps me figure out how to keep doing this and, and get better. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.